Good morning. This is your 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. Seeing sunny conditions out there this morning with some slightly breezy winds. We did see quite a bit of rainfall move through the last 24 hours as well as some windy conditions last night. Uh, seeing about an inch of rain here at Wallops and we'll be moving into a quiet weather pattern to end the work week before we see some rain chances back in the forecast for the weekend. We look at the current surface analysis, we can see that cold front that pushed through the area last night, bringing the rain and wind. Still seeing a tight pressure gradient over the region, um, helping with those slightly breezy conditions. We'll keep that as we go through at least the first part of the day today, but slowly this area of high pressure is going to build in. We'll see that gradient loosen up a bit, and then we'll see those winds start to uh, taper down as we go through the day today. If you look at those current conditions, seeing just a few clouds around 25,000 feet. Winds out of the northwest at 11 knots, gusting up to 21 knots. Temperature at 37 degrees, and our relative humidity is at 42%. If you look at our current visible satellite, we can see just some high clouds off to the south, continuing to move out of the area with that boundary. Um, and just a few lower clouds off over the waters. But over, overall, sunny skies across the area, some slightly breezy winds. If you look at the European model here, zoomed out to see how the Big picture looks as we go over the next couple of days. Again, we'll see that uh, upper trough over the area is bringing those cooler, more seasonable temperatures, and this area of high pressure is going to slowly start to build into our local region. That's going to help those winds taper down as we go through today. Today, we'll keep things quiet and clear through the day, and then we'll see some high clouds on the increase as we go into our day on Friday as that area of high pressure starts to uh, move off to the northeast. We see this weak disturbance coming up over the southeast and moving up into our local region. Out of the head of that, we'll see some increasing high cloudiness as well as some mid clouds moving in as we go through today on Friday. And then going into Friday evening and early Saturday morning, we see that uh, rain showers associated with that disturbance start to move into the area. We'll see maybe a chance of a few light showers before midnight, but the better chance rain will become likely as we get past the midnight time frame Friday night and into Saturday morning. We'll see that continuing. The European model is a little slower to some of the other solutions here, but still we'll see that most of that rain continuing as we go into at least the first part of the day on Saturday. And as that weak area low pressure uh, passes just over or east of the Wallops area, we'll see uh, a period of some slightly breezy to breezy conditions. Uh, can't rule out a wind advisory at this time. Uh, but that's the way things are looking. Won't expect winds like we've seen the last 24 to 48 hours, but still some slightly breezy conditions. And then going into Saturday evening, we start to see that disturbance move off to the northeast. And with it, we'll see those rain chances uh, tapering down. But we'll stay in some uh, onshore flow with some clouds sticking around for the end of the weekend. So if we look at our 24-hour weather risk chart for today, expecting mainly green conditions as we go through today, but we do keep a yellow risk for those winds at or above 25 knots with a chance of maybe seeing a wind advisory. Um, more likely as we go through the morning hours this morning as we keep those winds out of the northwest 9 to 14 knots with the chance of some peak gust up around 24 knots. And then as we go into the afternoon, those peak gusts go down to 22 and then down to 18 knots as we go into the later afternoon and into the evening. We'll keep mainly sunny skies around today with just a few high clouds and maybe a few uh, cumulus clouds developing, but overall expecting our high around 45 de degrees. And then as we go into the evening, mainly just a few high clouds around. We'll see those winds become light and variable overnight. That's going to allow uh, those temperatures to really drop off, We're expecting our low around 29 degrees for our Friday morning. And we'll see high clouds on the increase as we get into the start of the workday on Friday and those winds turning more out of the east around four to nine knots to start today as well. We'll see slightly below normal tides for today and then looking at that end of the week into the beginning of the weekend forecast. We'll see a pretty quiet day on Friday, partly cloudy early on, and we'll see increasing clouds becoming mostly cloudy to overcast later in the day. Overall, a seasonable day and quiet day. Green conditions for our weather risk high around 49 degrees. Going into Friday evening, we start off cloudy and then again, uh, chance of those rain showers before midnight, but those rain showers becoming likely as we get past midnight. So we do have that red risk for precip, as well as the orange risk for reduced ceilings and visibilities with that activity. And we'll see things becoming slightly breezy as that area of low pressure, although it is weak as it makes its closest approach 
uh, we'll see an increase in those winds. So just the yellow risk for those winds that are about 25 knots and overall a mild low around 42 degrees. We keep the same uh, risk pattern as we go into the day on Saturday. We'll see cloudy conditions continue and we'll see those rain showers continuing uh, early on and potentially seeing some rain activity lasting through uh, much of the day. But uh, the bulk of the activity will be occurring for the first half of the day. and Slightly breezy, mainly early on as well. But a milder day with a high around 58 degrees. That's going to wrap up the 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. We'll be back again at 10 a.m. to take a look at the extended forecast. Enjoy your morning.